Hey, hopefully you can hear me and see me okay. I was just about to lay down. Then God put some on my heart. <laughs> so I got to get this off my chest. Hey, so you know when people be like, um, or I mean, you know that saying, it'd be like, love is blind. Love is blind. For whatever reason, that popped in my head. And I was reflecting on that. Sorry. I was reflecting on that because I was like, what are they, you know, what's up with that saying? Love is blind. And then it hit me. The download came, the breakthrough. So basically, because I was reflecting on how people, and I've done it before. Sometimes you have a tendency to take people back from the past or go back, you know, go back and, and have a repeated cycle of going back and dating somebody in the past or dealing with a person in the past or going back to the past for stuff. And so I was reflecting on it. And then I was reflecting on that saying, love is blind. And I think essentially what that means is going back to the past is a blind way to operate because unless that person is conscious it, unless that person went through a spiritual awakening and has had a chance to really look deeply within and evaluate some of their subconscious programming and um potential inner inner child wounds and things that were running in the background in their subconscious mind uh toxic beliefs or just different programming and conditioning that might have come through childhood belief systems and ideas about relationships or friendships that may have been passed down from an adult whenever a child, if that person hasn't addressed and, and re, um, reshaped their belief system or value system or healed and become self-aware and conscious of what it is, what is the factor that's driving the behavior that led to the cheating or that led to the betrayal? If that person is still unconscious, that means if you go back to them, if you go back to that person in the past and deal with them again, nine times out of 10, they're going to do the same thing again because they're unconscious of what even what the root is that drove the behavior that you felt was a betrayal in the first place so if a person's unconscious of, of what's driving their behaviors if a person's unconscious of what's driving their behaviors there's they're susceptible to repeating the same behaviors whether the behavior is a good behavior or bad behavior so you have to be self-aware and that person unless they went through a major spiritual awakening and a healing and a introspection reflection to where they had almost like an ego death and come back as a a new person with a new mindset, a par a paradigm shift, a perspective and percep perception shift that's super powerful that you can see. And there's no red flags. The person is walking with a with a higher level of awareness and you know you can just see the difference, then that's a that's a different story. But otherwise going back and just repeating the past with somebody or a situation or scenario in the past all because of love without really taking the time and going slow to evaluate whether that person has become self-aware and conscious of what conditioning and programming is what what conditioning and programming drove the behavior to for them to do what they did in the first place if they're unaware of that they're going to do it again and so that's what came to my mind that i had to get off my chest love is blind in, in that aspect and i guess overall that's that's what two unconscious people will do but if a person is self-aware then they'll probably put the brakes on uh and think twice about repeating the past especially especially when they're self-aware enough to know that if the other person hasn't had an awakening of their own yeah they're, they'll hurt me again or they'll do the same thing again and betray me so I, I learned my lesson anyway that's what i wanted to share that was on my heart god put it on my heart for whatever reason i, I wrote it on a sticky note and everything i said let me do this now because it wouldn't, it wouldn't let me, it wouldn't let me calm down enough to go ahead and get to bed. So maybe I needed to just do this, record my thoughts and get it out. So, okay, good night. Hopefully you can hear me. I got my little mic in my hand. Hopefully you can hear me okay. So, okay, love y'all. Good night. Bye.